Let us have a detailed look at the femoral triangle, also called the triangle of scapa, which is an anatomical region of the upper inner human thigh. The femoral triangle is bounded by the inguinal ligament above, the medial border of the adductor longus medially, the medial border of the sartorius muscle laterally. The floor of the femoral triangle is formed by the iliopsoas, medially by the pectinus and by the adductor longus. Its roof is formed by the fascia lata. The femoral triangle is shaped like the sail of a ship and its boundaries can be remembered by using the mnemonic sail, namely sartorius, adductor longus and the inguinal ligament. The chief contents of the femoral triangle include the femoral nerve, the femoral artery in the center and the femoral vein medially. The femoral vein and artery but not the nerve are surrounded by a short distance by the femoral sheath. This is a sleeve of tissue which is continuous with the fascia from within the abdomen. There is no sheath present at birth, but it is pulled down as the limb grows. On the medial side of the vein is a space and this is called the femoral canal. And this allows expansion of the vein. It also provides a potential route for herniation of abdominal organs, example, a loop of small intestine. Femoral hernias are more common in women than in men. This picture shows the root of a femoral hernia. The hernial sac follows the potential space along the femoral vessels. It may be palpable near the femoral ring or in the medial thigh. The femoral artery is very superficial as it passes into the thigh behind the inguinal ligament. Its pulse at this point can be felt. The following structures are contained within the femoral triangle from lateral to medial. They are the terminal branches of the femoral nerve and its branches, the femoral sheath, the femoral artery and its branches, the femoral veins and its tributaries, the femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve which occupies the lateral compartment of the femoral sheath along with the femoral artery, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh which later divides into an anterior and posterior branches, the deep inguinal lymph nodes, the femoral canal containing the deep inguinal lymph nodes. Now in order to remember we can have this mnemonic called navy wherein if the Y represents where the two thighs meet the groin area then from lateral to medial we have the nerve, artery and the vein. The femoral triangle is also called the scapa triangle. Antonio Scapa, 1752 9th of May to the 31st of October 1832. He was an Italian anatomist and professor. Apart from his description of the femoral triangle, his other contributions include Scarpa's fascia, Scarpa's fluid, Scarpa's foramina, Scarpa's ganglion, Scarpa's hiatus, Scarpa's membrane, Scarpa's sheath, Scarpa's shoe, Scarpa's typhonoma and of course the Scarpa's triangle.